brought to you by the Every Dollar app. Start budgeting for free today. So my question has to do with um, my dad wanting my husband and I to take a $60,000 loan that's a parent plus loan he took when I went to college. Okay. And at, at the time, um, I, I never made a plan with him to pay it back. He never said, you know, at this date, you're mm-hmm. going to become responsible for this or anything like that. Um, I've been married three years now and we have wanted to help my dad. Um, cause obviously it was a helped me a lot. Um, but I'm really, really regretting that now. Um, and I think like he never said anything when we got married or anything like that. And I think he's just, um, he's had a lot of conflicts with my husband uh-huh. and it's the way I see it. It's like, he's just frustrated with, us and um oh so you think this is for spite i do oh (laughs) how much can you tell us about the the context of this resentment was it because of financial choices no or is he using this as leverage i believe he's using it as leverage um i i think if if i were to say like oh yeah sorry my husband is this, this, and this, just like you say, then maybe he would be like, okay, just because for the past 12 years, he's been paying on this loan and has not Done ever anything. mentioned it. So yeah. what does he so, not like um, about your husband? Where's the beef? Oh my. So I think in retrospect, so in the past, I was really close with my dad mm-hmm. and now I'm just processing all of these things that happened. I wonder if he what has been maybe kind of enmeshed with me. Like in high school, he would tell me a lot of details about his own financial situation that I don't even know if he told my mom about. Um, when okay. he got the loan, when he got the Parent PLUS loan, he told me to not tell my older siblings about it. Um, okay. And I'm the youngest of, I'm the youngest of six kids. Um, so what does this have to do with your kids? husband? Yeah, you, you mentioned, oh, you made yeah. it seem like it was oh. kind of a... Yes, yeah. So he thinks that um, that he's been a very bad influence on me. And I think that has to do <laughs> what does with that mean? me. Because... How old are you, Emma? Oh did gosh. you get your ears I... pierced? What did you do? Did you get a tattoo? Oh what God. happened? It's it's been so ridiculous, you guys. Like, so you're I still daddy's have... little girl, and he's like, I don't like what this guy's done to my daughter, and I don't agree with yeah. the. <laughs> I don't like he votes yeah, wrong. And it's, it's everything. And I I think I think he's never let me go. I think he doesn't like that I've. I've become a bit more assertive, which I feel like yeah. my husband has helped me really grow. I mean, you're married, girl. And you you, you let you married. you're married. Have you had oh, a hard wow. conversation yeah. with your dad yet to say, Dad, I love you. I'll always be your little girl, but I'm also a grown woman, and I'm married to this guy, and we're doing our own thing. And mm-hmm. it yes. feels like you're using this and dangling it over our head to go, all right, you little grown ups, here's your sixty thousand dollar loan back. Is that a good so- summary? I feel like that's a very good summary, unfortunately. Um, And you're the youngest of six. Did you say that? Yeah. Okay. Papa is struggling. That's what it sounds like. It sounds like he is trying to hold on to a last little thread of what life was. At least that's the way it sounds. Is he doing okay financially? Because it sounds like he doesn't have the ability to even pay back this loan. Otherwise, he would have done it. So that's why it's so complicated. I... I have wanted to help with the loan, never Mm -hmm. take it on myself, but I've wanted to help because honestly, he's made some poor decisions. Um, He's a teacher. He, I, so he told me like recently that when my sister and I were in school, he deferred some of his own debt to keep us in private school and pay for Mm -hmm. music lessons and stuff like that. So I feel like he has, in his mind, he's done the very best he can, which I'm sure he did in many ways. But I think you're I reading like too much like- into it. I got to cut you. I, th- I think you have to look at this pragmatically and look at it for what it is. Otherwise, you're going to keep circling a drain because the truth is, yes, our parents do sacrifice for us and they they're supposed to. And they do, you know, cut things off for them so they can do it for you like that. Right. Th- they're supposed to do that. And when they do it, we're grateful. And I don't think any, you don't have to replay that to prove that you're grateful to him because we know that you are. But if we look at this, like, let's just pretend that George and I are kind of the judge here. I think parent plus loans are really tough because here's, here's what, here's what we're really deciding between the money was used for you 
and it was for your education. You got your education. And then you kind of, right. did you ask for the loan? I don't know. Did you? No, I no. remember he really, he really wanted me to go to this college and okay. I did want to go, but I remember saying like, are you sure this is a lot of money? But if you, and if you didn't pay for it, what would have happened? You just wouldn't have gone or so what was the, I would have gone to a different school for much cheaper or little to nothing. And you would have paid for it in cash or there still would have been a smaller loan? So, no, actually, this is the kicker. He actually teaches at a college and I could have gone there for free. Oh, but my he goodness. Wanted me to go. OK, I know it's so bad. You Sad. Guys. What so, are you, isn't that like the really, one reason to work at the college? Yeah. So your kids can go for free. Right. Right. Oh, my goodness. He really he really wanted me to go to this Christian private college. Okay, so now, and now, now we have, but now we have the facts because I, I don't want to run out of time. The fact is, he took out this loan. He wanted you to go to this school. You were willing to yeah. go someplace for free. And let's add the legality to it. The loan is in his name. So yeah. if you came uh -huh. in front of Judge Jade, you and, have no legal or moral obligation to pay no, this back. But if really it's going to weigh on you and you have the financial means, then help pay it down. It's that simple and have the conversation. You didn't have the conversation before. Mm -hmm. So the next best thing you can do is have one now. And we go, you, all right, here, right. can we come up with a game plan? I don't want this to hurt our relationship. Mm -hmm. I know you disagree with my husband, neither here nor there. Let's make a plan to get rid of this debt. And if I were you, I'd try to settle for half and half. I'd be like, let's go halfsies on this. You played a part in it. I took it. I took the gift. I took the loan. So I played a part in it as well. And so that's what I would do. And I, if you do make this, try to... I say this, but this is family stuff. And I hate I hate yeah. business between family, but try to get it in some sort of writing of, hey, this is what we both agree. Let's sign it. Okay. And so that we can always say, hey, we said this. Here's what we said. I'll pay 30. You'll pay 30. What's the balance now? Is it still 60? So it's 60. I'm guessing it was closer to 72 when he first took it. Okay. Well, let's talk about it at this point and say it's 60 now. You pay 30. I'll pay 30. And no hard feelings and from now on none of us co-sign for each other and you know maybe you write him a letter and say all the wonderful things that you were going to say on the air about how he sacrificed and you know that's that on that but if, if the wedge has already been driven then this debt is not going to change much of that no it sounds like he's got other beef and this is just one part of the puzzle which i'm so sorry i mean that's not a fun thing to deal with and money getting involved just makes it 10 times worse. It does. Yeah, Parent PLUS loans are a big, big, Please big don't do no, it. no, If you're don't listening and you ever take a Parent PLUS loan, just know I'm mad at you yeah. and a puppy stop wagging its tail. Oh. Yeah, it's a problem. Don't do it. This is The Ramsey Show. Create your free every dollar budget today. The simplest way to budget for your life.